One of Everton's strengths has been a settled lineup, so you can imagine the uh, murmur of disquiet when the four changes were announced. Alessandro Pistoni, David Weir, Kevin Kilban, and Marcus Bent arrested, dropped whatever the preferred terminology. Alan Stubbs and Leon Osman return. Gary Naismith and Kevin Campbell start their first Premier League games since August. Portsmouth make two changes, both of the weekend's fullbacks are out of the starting lineup. Andy Griffin is banned, Matthew Taylor is a substitute. Dejan Stefanovic and Andy Fay are opted in. David Unsworth, who gave Everton 12 years service, will only make an emotional return if he comes on as a substitute. There is James Beattie, getting to know people at Goodison Park. He won't be short of some motherly advice from the older Evertonians. He can't wait to get back into the full swing of things and maybe he'll make his debut in the FA Cup at the weekend, but for now he's going to wrap himself up warmly and watch his team, new teammates in action against the old enemy from down the south coast. Time for Everton to get the show back on the road. Some say the Southerners are softies. Well, Everton, when they've played against capital clubs, have been the nice Northerners. Now they have to prove that uh, in these Champions League positions, they've not been defying gravity. Kevin Campbell bumping into an old Nottingham Forest pal in Steve Stone there. Obviously eager to make an impression on his return to the Everton team. The freshness added to this, uh, side tonight by... David Moyes, obviously, this left-hand side. You've got Naismith and McFadden teaming up for a very rare time, I think, on this left-hand side. A whole new left-hand side for tonight, but that midfield three is together, isn't it? Oh, this is a fantastic run, and what a wonderful tackle. That was from Naismith, came in from nowhere. Well, certainly not uh, showing any signs of rust after his long spell out of the team. Now McFadden, full of confidence. A little bit too much purchase on the cross, but uh, showing exactly what he's good at. Bit of a maverick, can beat a player when he's on song. Brian taken quickly. Ravison. Naismith. Carsley. Campbell. Good interception from Stone, but he's... Uh, Left his sentry post. And Primus has to come out of the centre to try and divert Everton. It's Campbell! Good blocked by Dazir. Well, very good start from Everton. Yobo tidying up, giving it to Alan Stubbs. That's uh, a bit more belief about the Everton style of play tonight. It was a good strike, I think Campbell done everything right. Naismith as well, just moments before that, with a great tackle, but... And this left-hand side, McFadden did very well, but Stone, for the first time, caught out position. He passed the ball, he followed the ball, and as you said, left his post, and they got in behind him. McFadden, like this again. Wonderful skills from McFadden. And uh, just about legal means, so certainly the eyes of the referee used by Gary O'Neill to take the ball off McFadden. Kevin Campbell hasn't scored in the Premier League for an awful long time. He's stuck on 99 top-flight goals. He's done everything right remember. here, I think, Rob. As the ball was cut back, he was concentrating it in the target. As the ball was rolling across him, did everything right here at the target, but it was blocked. But look at that tackle. Camera actually gets to the ball first, and Naismith times his tackle to perfection. O'Neill. Now Faye. Berger. Love to latch one into the Gladys Street end. Oh, and it took an awkward bounce in front of Wright. It wasn't the neatest of saves, but we're just happy he kept it out. Well, that was that was the beauty of the save, the fact that Berger's lining it up all the time. Watch the dip on the end of it. Bang. Yeah. At the Everton season, you realise that they tend to peak. Late in the second half, Osman comes in from the wing. Big chance for Osman, and uh, well, it certainly wasn't.
handball, as you'll see from the watering of Dizou's eyes. <laughs> well, it's McFadden who switched over to that right-hand side as Campbell just twisted out, twisted out of the challenge. I think St Stefanovic got caught on his heels, McFadden come across him, drifted inside, good movement, gets his shot away, and that did hit him on the hand. It did. It did hit him on the hand, and he had his hands away from his body, so maybe he's hurt his wrist. <laughs> but he doesn't really want to be showing the referee that. Because it's a little bit of there, isn't it? A little bit of the referee's interpretation was that it was protection. Maybe it flicked something on the way to hitting his wrist. But he certainly got it caught on his hand as the ball went past him. And the hands are away from the body, Rob. And that's the key most of the time. McFadden, as you can see, he's sure of it. Maybe he twisted as he fell over, but certainly... Well, it did. Upon reflection, upon replay. There you go, McFadden comes inside, gets his shot away, there's the arms, catches him on the, or should we say, below the elbow, around the wrist area, definitely. Gravison. Now Hibbert moves through the gears. He'll block to be hoping that it rolls for a corner. He prevents that, but not the throw as ever to make good yardage down the right hand side. Working their way down there, but they have lacked someone really to play off of Kevin Campbell. It's obviously the pros and cons of, of playing the system that they play, they've done so well at it. But sometimes at home they do need another strike partner. Campbell. Neat flick and uh, a touch of panic from Steve Stone. He may say it was the sensible thing to do when he completely lost his bearings in the uh, the mouth of the goal. Well, if in doubt, put it out. Kevin Campbell flicking it on. No one there, no partner. Steve Stone wasn't sure. Put underline your the point that they're playing with just the one striker turn, isn't it? Needed the man behind him. Standing on the goal line, Stubbs gets a header in there, neat, precise to the point, and Everton take the lead after 29 minutes. It's a great header by Alan Stubbs on the far post, but I don't think there's anyone on the far post, I just can't understand that. Look, no one on the far post, Stubbs gets up above his marker, puts it in, well, if you have a man on each post, that's a simple clearance for me, Stubbs up, and it goes right in by the post. Someone on that far post and that stops. I really can't understand why you don't have a man on either post. But it's a good jump by Alan Stubbs and a very, very good header. An unusual feeling for him, his first of the season and his first at Goodison Park in almost three years. And the captain leading from the front, pulling his way into the box to edge Everton ahead. I always think you should have a man on each post, Rob. I think, you know, the idea of a corner is you're defending your goal. So you start with your goalkeeper in the middle, man on each post, and then you mark around that. And then you see Stubbsy get up and get a, a well-directed header into the goal, you know, where it could have been a simple clearance. They must be kicking themselves. Well, if you're looking for an omen, Everton have won all nine games when they've scored first. There's Jakubic trying to make a quick return. Oh, what a wonderful goal! What a strike, Rob. Unstoppable. Oh, what a fantastic response that is from Portsmouth. Straight from the kickoff, they sweep upfield, and that was a stick of dynamite. That was an incredible strike, struck with such force. They'll be disappointed, Everton, that it comes from a throw, and he, he, he shrugs off his mate Yobo, I think it is, and he just fires it. Half volley, first time, look, shugs off Yobo, he's on the wrong side, bad marking, but look at that, There's only one thing in his mind, he's going for goal, but the strike was so pure. Half volley, and Richard Wright's got no chance. Postage stamp job, right in the top corner. Great strike from Yakubu. Well, starting 2005, as he finished 2004, only Thierry Henry scored more goals in the Premier League than he in the calendar year.
Now, we're doing another goal, aren't we? Osman! Two goals in exactly two minutes. Osman trying to keep up that pace. I think the marking from the throwing, Yobo really got preoccupied with trying to get into a physical battle instead of marking on goal side. That's where he got called out, but sometimes you can get away with that. But uh, he certainly didn't there. What a strike it was. Quasi unhappy at the referee's uh, decision that he manhandled Cahill. Another crowd announcer telling us there were only 30 seconds between those two goals. What a golden goal ticket that is. Ravison. That's an excellent cross to Zou. To Osman and a flamboyant back heel away by Stefanovic and Dazu bravely heads and wins a free kick. Got clear from Gravison's free kick, good defending header by Dazu. Comes back in on the volley. That unbelievable clearance, wasn't it? Sort of nonchalant from Stefanovic. Interesting to see whether that one was going on target because he's he stopped a certain goal with just a little back flick. Hibbert. Flurry of goals at Goodison Park. Oh! Everton have only gone in at half-time in the lead once this season. In the 21 games uh, they've played before tonight, they've been drawing 17 times and behind three times. They tend to peak in the second half, where they've won 12 second halves this season. And of course, generally by the single goal. Machiobo. Hibbert. Checks that, he says, to Kevin Campbell. Before four years of age now, legs don't quite move as fast as they used to. Stefanovic not appreciating the scouse humour. I don't think you could have understood it, Rob. <laughs> the happiest looking manager from uh, celebrating a goal, tearing his hair out in the space of 30 seconds. Well, as he thought he'd uh, taken an illegal elbow to the face then from Tim Cahill. All part of the rough and tumble of the Premier League. I think he's just caught under the flight of the ball, Nigel Quasi. There he is, he's caught under the flight of the ball. It's only a flick. It's probably a fling, uh, flinger, a finger in the eye. No one interested observer, the new boy in blue, James Beattie. Work starts tomorrow. He used to work for me. Actually, Rob, he was an apprentice at Blackburn when I was there. And James was an up-and-coming young boy scoring bundles of goals in the youth team. And obviously, there's no way forward there with the likes of Alan Shearer, Chris Sutton, Mike Newell, Peter Thorne in his way. And he moved on. And he's made a good career for himself, hasn't he? See David Moyes there. Will David Moyes change the formation now? Beat is there. Will he go for two strikers, do you think? That's something that gives him the option. When he's got Bent back, he can play Bent up, up front with Beattie. He's also got Campbell here. He's got Ferguson, who we probably won't be seeing a lot more of. But it has given him that extra option. But in doing so, it will open the other games up, uh, the other game up, the rest of the game up for other teams to get at Everton. So it's a little bit of a conundrum for David Moyes. And temporarily, Portsmouth down to ten men as Quasi uh, goes down to uh, the dressing room. We're told to replace his contact lens. He's been having a few problems with that as the, uh, the evening has gone on. Wasn't helped by uh, the blow to the face from Tim Cahill. Just a 
case of keeping Everton quiet for a few moments for Portsmouth. And he's back on. Not quite sure whether he's got 20-20 vision or not, but uh, he's with us again. Gravison. Lovely weighted ball to Hibbert. Perker digs in. It was a beautifully weighted ball, but Hibbert just didn't have the first touch, did he, to take it inside Berger? That's when you heard the groan of the crowd. To make the pass look so much better when the receiver of the pass's first touch is spot on. Fay. Stone. O'Neill. Stefanovic. Quasi, he gets past home, but there's always a second man. And on this occasion, it was uh, Carsley who stunted the Portsmouth growth. Oh, wonderful skill from Thomas Gravison. Cahill. since uh, new management took over the club. Portsmouth haven't lost away from home. And Everton have got a free kick, as uh, Campbell, again, willing to chase what uh, may have appeared to be a lost cause under the feet of Dezoup. He lost the first header, and I think he was a little bit desperate, and it was him having a tug at Kevin Campbell first. And Campbell going down. He's going to have his hands full, Campbell, tonight. He's up against Dezoup and Primus. Probably another centre back in Stefanovic who's playing at left back tonight. There is McFadden. Well, they may have uh, three centre halves in the four defensive positions, but they're not marking particularly well from these set pieces. Yeah, he didn't mark Alan Stubbs very well when he came up to score that goal. McFadden again getting in front of his marker there. There should be someone in the space. Everton crowd going, Rob, hasn't it? That equalising goal so quick after they scored theirs. Silence around the ground at the moment. Well, they have got into the winning habit here at Goodison Park. They've won the last four in a row. Last time they won five in a row was September to November 2002. They're hoping to uh, improve. Oh, there's been an excellent home season. Only lost against teams from London Town. Here's Berger. O'Neill. Stone. Too tight and cable. Pickpockets. The old timer in the uh, Portsmouth back line. That's a very loose ball. And that's a very loose ball, Mark two. O'Neill for Portsmouth. Yakubu. Again, muscling his way in and uh, tripping over the ball himself. The referee could have been closer. Primus. Dizu. Stefanovic. Carsley to Osman. Stubbs, Naismith. Stubbs, the Everton scorer. Oh. The last time he crossed the halfway line, he did well. Not on this occasion, though. Did the half bit very well. Played a nice little one-two to get out of trouble, and, and the short ball McFadden went astray. Cahill. Now Gravison. Nobody really ahead of him. Stopped in his tracks by Stefanovic.
steps. Gravison. Hibbert. Gravison again, just to tease it through to Hibbert. Now Yakubi. He wanted to beat him Yobo, but uh, it was to spectacular effect. Now Berger. Support from Quasi. A lot of space. And the referee had a look, and Kamara does not win a free kick. It stops into the final three minutes of the first half. Gravison. Alan Stubbs looking for a second in the game. McFadden. Stone does well. Maurice Smith. Stubbs. Gravison. Carsley. Campbell's flick. Gravison's made a good run in there, and Stone very calmly tried to head it back to his keeper. Strong finish this from the home side. Dezu. Stefanovic. Winning the balls, but they can't get it away. It keeps rebounding back in their faces. Osman leaves it. Cahill. Now Hibbert. Number of blue shirts waiting in the centre. And it was the smallest Portsmouth player that won it. The biggest Portsmouth player. And he gets half a hand to the ball. That's Shaka Hislop. Nail biting moments. For the Portsmouth supporters. Now Kamara. And uh, a little bit of breathing space. The team from the south coast. There's quite a lot of pressure there from Everton, Rob, but without having a shot. That's their problem. You know, they pass, pass, pass. And, you know, in the past they haven't been passing the ball that well. But this pattern of play sort of endears itself to passing. They're passing it more, but they're not having as many shots. Have to mix it up a little bit as well. Yobo. Berger! If they score goals tonight, they want them to be spectacular goals. Berger's had a few little pops from that distance. He's one of the best strikers of the ball in the Premiership, and he does this without moving. Look, just plants his feet, gets the dipping volley away. Oh, and what a strike it is. It's just over the top, and it dips onto the top of the net. Scored one of the most spectacular goals I've seen, that goal at the Valley, when he just turned and hit a dipping volley into the far corner. That is a speciality of his. Campbell. Stefanovic. Now to Berger. To the final minute of the first half. No indication yet. And it's going to be added on. Berger. Hibbert. Osman. Be a single minute of time and on for stoppages. Carsley, Osman. It's a great run this from Hibbert. Ramison at the near post, a little flick, and there was McFadden for a little flick as well, put a little flick off target. A lightning quick move from Everton. <laughs> Great build-up again down the right-hand side from Everton and narrowly just wide. Must have took a deflection in going wide for the corner. Nice corner kick. Everton scored. Can it be a mirror image? No Stubbs. one on the far post again, Rob. And Stubbs hiding at the far post, hoping to come in late. This time they aim to the near post and Hislop completely lost the flight of the ball. Nearly a danger of that one going straight in. Shaka gets caught under the flight of the ball. Referee saw a touch in there. Could have gone straight in there, okay. Just enough time for the corner to be taken. And stoppage time beyond stoppage time there. Flick from Carsley. Who fits to relative safety? It was announced the first there's a minute of time added on. We're now into uh, well into the second minute of stoppage time. 
obviously didn't get a watch as a Christmas present, did he? Half-time whistle goes, and both sides will be reasonably satisfied. Everton took the lead. Fine set-piece move, finished by their skipper, Alan Stubbs. But within 30 seconds of the celebrations, Yakubu came up with something rather special to make it at Goodison Park. Everton won, Portsmouth won. Well, imagine that the uh, half-time team talk in the Portsmouth change room was more satisfactory than uh, across the corridor. Everton took the lead and then quickly gave away a goal. The onus is on Everton to get the win here tonight. They tend to edge their way past teams. 11 wins this season of their 12 by a single goal. Only in one match have they managed to beat the opposition by two. So Portsmouth know what's coming. Portsmouth still playing with just the one striker in Kevin Campbell in the second half. Tony, we were discussing at half time that at uh, some point, I would imagine early, David Moyes will. Possibly bring on uh, Bent in a, in a tactical reshuffle. Yeah, maybe, Rob. I just wonder, though, how long Kevin Campbell will last. You know, his first game for a long, long time. Will he last the 90 to see a strike partner come on to help him? Be interested to see if that happens and see what happens with the, the two up front. Here's O'Neill. He paints his balance brilliantly. Kamara takes an all comers. Oh! Well, they hit the net. Sadly for him, the side net. Oh, Mr. Retake of that spectacular goal we saw from his striking partner, Yakubu. Well, it's the unpredictability of the pair of them again. They just run straight at you and they ask all different kinds of problems. Gravison. Osman, Lee Carsley, Naismith, McFadden, there was everybody, a nice little turn from Osman, cross comes shot, oh, and, well, Cahill can't believe it, he'd done all of the hard work to get in there, he's screaming at the linesman that he felt he'd been impeded on his way to try to apply the head to goal, that his shirt was being tucked. Wonderful cross from Osman, and Cahill got there. But from, what, three and a half yards out, managed to somehow head it down and over the bar. Well, how does it finish over the bar? That's the firmness of the goal area for you. Great little turn by McFadden, great skill. And Cahill does, does what he does best, arriving late in the box, does everything correctly, heads it down, but unfortunately down into the ground and over the bar. Slipping and sliding, it's uh, Quasi who comes away with it. Bosman. That was a lazy pass, and that was a lazy control from Faye. Drift pass, Everton midfield players with ease, and then gives it away. What's going on there? It's like the Bermuda <laughs> Triangle. Yeah, there's some great bits of skill, and then all of a sudden, from so it's from the sublime to the ridiculous. Andy Fay being the main culprit there, twice two great pieces of skill, and twice he gave it straight back to the opposition. Gives it to Berger. You know the shot's coming. 
And oh, right, only half stops it, and he does a good recovery job. Well, that's been a recurring theme. Berger's shots bouncing off Richard Wright. He's been stopping them, but not holding them. They're the most difficult ones to deal with, Rob, because they're moving, and you feel you, you maybe should catch them. They're moving all over the place, and again, like the first shot, pitch is just before him, makes it so, so difficult, but he's very brave, and really charging down the rebound from Mikubu. It's a good second save from Richard Wright. Before he comes out to the advantage, which is taken by Naismith. Primus, neatly out of trouble. Just as if under a bit of pressure, O'Neill. There's Richard, there's Richard Wright, it was a fine save, but look, comes inside and you can hear the hush around the Everton crowd, don't let him on his left foot, ball moves about all over the place, dips furiously in front of him, he can't hold on to it, Yakubu's first on the rebound, but it's a great stop second time round. Campbell to Osman to Cahill. Campbell again. Not as stronger than Hibbert would have liked it, but good control from the young fullback. Carsley. Now Faye. Now Kamara and Yakubu. It's three on three. Make that four on three as Berger joins them. And another Berger blast. They're asking for it, Rob, aren't they? They really are asking for it. Going quick on the break, Everton having good possession, giving it away, and the two strikers show a lot of pace. One makes a off-the-ball run, creates the room for Berger. And I think that's about his fourth shot now. Getting closer and closer. Well, that one wasn't so close anyway, but he's really got to strike the ball well, and you are asking for trouble. Well, it's well taken by... McFadden, they had to be careful with their tackles, but is uh, pushed away by Stone. And it's Faye, if the referee intercepts. Tackle by Gravison, but uh, Portsmouth come forward again. Everton taking a gamble or two, and there are gaps for Portsmouth to make the most of in there. Of course, his control lets him down. Stefanovic. Pendulum at the moment, swinging Portsmouth's way. Quasi. Should be no problem there. Communication from uh, the crowd helped out the goalkeeper and the defender. Nice loud call, wasn't it, from the crowd, particularly behind the goal. Goes Campbell. That's the header, gives it to McFadden. Word from the touchline is that in the next break of play, Campbell will be replaced by Marcus Bent. Here's McFadden. And uh, blocked brilliantly by Stone. Now Gravison. Cat and mouse football between these two teams. And uh, Gravison and the crowd thought he'd been bowled to the floor, but uh, the man who matters, Mr. Walton, declined the cry. that Kubu wasn't anticipating that. Just over an hour gone. Osman. To Campbell. To Cahill. Fanciful flick over the top. Osman makes good grab. Osman has a chance and Osman just misses. Well, the speed of the attack, he maybe lost his bearings a touch. It's a fanciful, lovely little flick over the top from Cahill. Full of invention, Cahill's head was down, didn't quite know where the goal was. Well, it's great improvisation, I thought, from Cahill. Lovely little flick because he got blocked off. But I just thought that was a little side foot slid into the corner, going to his right there for Osman. He just lost his bearings a little bit, panicked as the defenders came down on him and dragged his shot wide. There is Cahill, playing in a more offensive role at the moment. Just as the uh, supporting striker to Kevin Campbell. One in 
interested spectator tonight is Graham Sudes, flanked by his assistant Dean Saunders there. If you believe what you read in the papers, Graham Sudes is quite interested in Joseph Yobo, the Everton central defender. He's only uh, starting his second game since August tonight. So, largely he's had a, an excellent game. There is Primus. So the ball goes. It again skips off what must be a, a very uh, rubbery penalty area. It's another corner to Everton. He really, really makes a nuisance of himself, doesn't he, KO in the area? Gets something out of nothing again. A good chance for Everton at a corner. And this is where they, their first goal came from. And there's Stubbs lurking at the far post again. Again, they don't put a player on the back post, Portsmouth. Hislop comes and uh, has that massive height advantage on everybody else. A little bit too much height on the, the corner from Gravison, allowing Shaka to get a couple of steps in and a nice run and a leap, get out the crowded area. They're flatter. It's very much more difficult for goalkeepers to come and collect. Kamara to Berger. Stefanovic. Oh, that's a very loose ball. Ball worth as well to give Everton straight back. And they get an assist if they score. Gravison. Now Carsley. Oh, wonderful pass. Great run from McFadden. And he fluffed his lines when his big moment came. It's a great ball by Carsley. It's a similar ball to what Gravison would play normally, but he comes running across the line from his flank. Obviously, the defenders don't pass him on. That's a poor first touch. The first touch goes up in the air. You can see. Mayer took a little bit of a bubble in fairness to him, but then he just loses his bearings and can't get his volley in. There's Alan Stubbs. Carsley. Gravison. Naismith. Goes, it will be a corner. Starting to assert a little bit of pressure, Everton. Rather than that KO header just into the ground, they haven't created a lot against this stout Portsmouth defence. Taken quickly. Oh, McFadden. It's the ball run again. But uh, he digs in and wins it back, which is appreciated by the home fans. It's a good cross. Oh! Cahill and he can't believe it twice from close range this evening he's missed the chances but that was due to a heavy presence blocking his way it was quasi who backtracked into into the area to just get in there and maybe get a touch on it and get it away for a corner good backtracking once more Portsmouth don't guard at their back post once more Everton play it short Gravison at that far post is Stubbs soon nods it down and uh, a little bit of breathing space for Portsmouth. And Two it, great chances tonight for Tim Cahill. He's got in there and he just keeps getting in there, Robs, and he will get chances. Good cross from Gravison, gets across his mark, and just as you think he's there, and he's opened his body up for the side foot, in comes Quasi behind him just to get it away. Portsmouth substitution, number 18, LOR Cissé replacing number 15, Andy Flood. Andy Fay, we're told, is uh, carrying a slight injury. He's worked tirelessly in the uh, midfield for Portsmouth tonight. And they do have a ready-made replacement in the Senegal captain, Aliou Cissé. Meanwhile, Everton will make uh, a double change. Their two attacking players, James McFadden and Kevin Campbell, come off. And a standing ovation for Marcus Bent, their top scorer. And Kevin Kilban will come on to add some pace and some width on the left. Well, it looks like there's going to be no change in system. There's certainly a little bit more pace up front now with Marcus Bent. Kevin Cam Campbell's done reasonably well tonight. And they'll be hoping that he's maybe softened up the Zayu and Primus. And maybe Bent's going to come on fresh and get in behind them on the occasion and 
Maybe nick a goal for them. Kilban on the left-hand side comes in. He's a good player for me. A good signing he's been by David Moyes. Player who doesn't mind putting his foot in, getting his head in there for headers as well. And obviously, one big thing in his favour, an outright left-footer. Here is uh, Richard Wright, a couple of tidy saves. David Moyes has had a recognised first 11 this season. As I mentioned earlier, things have been uh, changed around. That's, uh, nine of the recognised 11 on the pitch down there now. Nigel Martin and Alessandro Pistoni from, uh, on the team sheet every week. And there's Tommy Gravison. Danish javelin throw. Cisse gets his first touch. The referee does a good blocking job for Portsmouth. Carsley. Kilbert. And it will be a Portsmouth throw. The extra defender there for Portsmouth as the referee got in the way. They're just trying to flick it back to the wide side. Got in the way and it's a nice little attack in the bud. There is the, uh, the director of football, a manager, Melimir Zayek. And there's Cahill. I know that Kilban has pace, but not quite that pace. Primus with a drop of the shoulder, and uh, wide enough shoulders, he thought to guide it out of play, but the referee thought it took a slight touch from uh, Primus and Everton have the corner kick, no time to stand and argue, Portsmouth had to regroup. He was sure he didn't. Obviously the referee thought he did. And aim for that dangerous far post, Cahill's in there and... Uh, may have, well, Everton thought he took a slight deflection off the rear of Stefanovic. But another lucky escape for Portsmouth, again, they don't guard the back post. And look where it's heading, right down on that far post. It did take a deflection off of Stefanovic, he just jumped into Cahill, took a slight deflection. They certainly would have been kicking themselves had it crept in on that far post again. Stubbs gives it to uh, Ramison. Here's Hibbert. Osman, nice little pirouette from the Everton midfield player. He was fouled, but the referee gives Everton the advantage, which is taken by Carsley. Great stop, falls to Cahill. And a zoo, anywhere will do. Everton really flying in the face of Portsmouth here. This lot comes and will just uh, be happy to hang on to the ball, but actually set uh, Portsmouth away through Patrick Berger. Good counter attack this by Portsmouth. And the last it uh, amounts to nothing. And then it's been flying back at them. It's like watching a playground game of football, this, and they just keep taking turns to attack each other. Marcus Ben takes the long route to goal. He's up for a corner. Just didn't send down a cold sack there, Marcus Ben, but that was a good save from Saki Islop. It's a nice height, it's great skill by Graveson on the edge of the area. Got his shot away. That's Hislop dive to his right to save. It was a great piece of skill. Everton going for it. And that's why it's opened this game right out. It's allowing Pompey to hit him on the break, but Everton definitely going for it. <laughs> Warning warning from uh, referee to Cissé. Protecting his goalkeeper on the post, stubs a game. Bustling in there. Hoisted into the penalty area. His lock stays on his line, Stefanovic. Heads only as far as Osman. Hibbert. Ravison. Kilbert, neat touch. Cahill. Muscled off the ball. Now Kamara. And Hibbert comes across. Defenders love those challenges, don't they, Tony? And he's a very quick defender, great across the floor. A couple of times he's got in advanced areas, he's lacked a few ideas on the ball, but he's a very good defender, very quick across the floor, loves a tackle. Another change for Portsmouth. Yakubu is sacrificed for the final five and a half minutes. Along will come Matthew Taylor, defender by trade, and does this give us an insight into the thinking of Velimir Zayek? Yeah, just sit Matt Taylor in front of Stefanovic now, I think. 
They just play two on this left hand side, just leave one up front and really try and stop Everton. Where well, they've been getting a few nice overlapping rolls. I think Taylor's telling Stefanovic to push into the middle. And Portsmouth at this point would settle for the draw. They've absorbed Everton attacking in the second half. There's still more of it to come as Bent leads the charge. Kill Bent. Than Graveson. Carsley. Oh, Hibbert does well. It's a great cross from Hibbert and uh, Primus. There's the leading head in there. That's the best he's done. And he's trying to get forward on this right hand side here, but this time he got in a good cross. The difference was he was up against Berger instead of a defender who made it really easy for him. Four minutes for Everton to break the Portsmouth well. Zoo. You are going to do for Kamara. Naismith. Goes backwards to go forward. Alan Smith. Sorry, Alan stops. <laughs> the way he scored that goal is like Alan Smith. So it was Cahill. away possession to Everton. Yeah. Anderson's throw to Zua. Anderson again. With him is Naismith. Every Portsmouth player back defending. Trying not to get in each other's way. They've won so many headers. De Zou, Primus, Stavanovic, everyone back there. Everton really haven't got any change out of them out there in the long throws and corner kicks coming in other of course than the Stubbs goal but Really have defended well, particularly in the second half. Bent. Carter. Stubbs. Kilban. Now Gravison. Lot for Hibbert to do, but you know, give chase and Berger has to stick the boot in. Everton again flying in their faces. No. They're turning in their right mind, leaving the ground early. Ooh, it was a big, big appeal for handball there. A very nervous look from Matthew Taylor, but the lightman on this near side who kept his flag down. I tell you what, Rob. I think the look said it all. I think you got that right. It looked like he dribbled up the arm of Matt Taylor, and he's a very fortunate boy. It'd be interesting to see it again, but it looks like he might have got away with it. It's as pale as his shirt. There is Taylor. Well, Everton have had two penalty appeals tonight. They have had a penalty in 26 games at Goodison as the goalkeeper comes and uh, I don't know, shake his lop size or nip those out of the night air all evening. There it is, Marcus Bent was pinning back to you. In comes Taylor. Oh, off the head. Off the head. I think the nervous look is of an honest man. As he comes back in, in he gets. Two minutes of stoppage time have now been eaten up. Your uh, final considerations, Tony? Well, it's been mainly Everton, particularly in the second half, but you have to give it to Pompey. Kill Ben. Quasi, still a chance. Osman! Right at the death! Final kick of the game! What a finish for Everton! And David Moyes is on the pitch celebrating like a fan! That's what it means to Everton, and they nick another game by a single goal, the 12th time they've done it this season. Well, you'd have thought they won the league. He looks like Brian Kidd when he was out on the Old Trafford surface when Man United clinched the league with a Steve Bruce goal, but great strike by Osman. He does it again in the last minute. I was here when he did it against Norwich, gets a goal out of nothing. 
Ball bounces about in the area, not a good header from Matt Taylor, but what a good turn and strike by Osman. He just has to fire his shot away, short little back lift, just hit the target, and his lot's got no chance. It's a shame on Bobby, they defended very well, but you've got to give it to Everton. They pressed, they pressed, they pressed, and they just wanted the three points. And look at Moisey, you think they've won the lead. The Moisey boys remain in those Champions League starting grid positions and he likes what he sees in his new club a team with staying power David Moyes is allowed to celebrate like that as long as he doesn't take his shirt off apparently well can you believe it that game was well the game was won in seconds beyond stoppage time well, they have kept driving and driving and driving. I think they've shown more energy. As I said, Stefanovic dead on his feet, and they've just looked the fitter of the two sides. And I don't think it's any coincidence that they've won all these games in the second half. But their fitness, their drive, their determination, and no little skill, Rob, but, boy, do they work their socks off, Everton. Yeah. One of the stewards in the congested Everton tunnel before the game told me he wins every week when he goes... Draw half time, Everton full time, but they left it right to the death tonight. The same old Everton, another win by a single goal. The 12th time they've done that this season. Tonight, Leon Osman's name is up in lights. Everton are back with the bang. They've been in Portsmouth at Goodison Park by two goals to one. Well, David, normal service has been resumed. Yeah, yeah, it was a, a long time coming. But I thought uh, really well deserved in the end and credit the players, they kept going, kept plugging at it. And you've heard so many managers talking about tiredness and, and fatigue. And, you know, we were the same. We made a few changes and got a few new players in the team and they've done great. And, uh, you know, all credit to the lads for getting the, getting the winning goal. It was a topsy-turvy old game for the manager because you took the lead and then you lost it within a minute, didn't you? Yeah, we're disappointed that we lost the goal. You know, we'd, we'd got, in, got in front and, uh, you know, there wasn't much in the game. I just felt that, we, you know, we had the dominance and, you know, we were, we were hoping to get that goal. But uh, we got the goal and then conceded, so it was disappointing. And we commented here, nobody in their right mind leaves Goodison Park early because you always win it by the odd goal and you, you tend to do it very late in the game as well. Well, what they do here is they keep going and they don't give up. And, you know, they were on their knees, you know, the likes of Tim Cahill and Tommy Gravis and the boys who were asked to play again. They were on their knees, but the impetus of one or two of the fresh legs again uh, kept us going. And in the end, you know, Leon Osman had missed, uh, missed a game and uh, last last couple of games, and he was fresh and he was able to come up with a goal in the last minute. There was some celebration as well, wasn't it? What, by my, the manager. By the manager, yeah. It, was, it wasn't quite a David Pleat or a Barry Fry, but uh, it was beginning to get close. But he gave probably an insight into what it meant to you winning tonight. Well, you know, we're, we're thrilled at any win. We know what it's like. Uh, we want to try and win as many games. And when you win a game in injury time, and really, you know, I don't know what time it was we actually scored. You know, the referee had signalled for two minutes, and I thought it was probably on that, you know. It so, was beyond that, it was two well, and a half. Well, there you go, two and a half, so I knew that you know, to score then. Uh, I think he even played about another minute and a half after that. But, uh, no, I think we deserved it tonight, so uh, I'm pleased with that. And a quick word on James Beattie. You paraded him to the fans before, but you can't wait to get him in the team now, can you? We're looking forward to adding him to the to the squad. And as you can see, you know, we brought in lots of squad players tonight and uh, players who've not played and they've done, done great. So we're beginning to build and we know that you know, it's not just now, it's you know, February, March, and we want to try and be, be in with the teams when that, when that period comes around. Well, they left it very, very late, but Everton have beaten Portsmouth by two goals to one at Goodison.